Hello, I'm Edwin Siebesma, founder of Meeting King. In this video, I will show you how easy it is to create an agenda in Meeting King. Here I am in my dashboard. I click the New Meeting button. I give the meeting a title, Demo Meeting. I will invite a few participants, Harry and Mr. Bigglesworth would like to be kept in the loop, so I will change his status to read only, which means he will receive the minutes as soon as I send those out. Now I can optionally add a, a tag, which will help me to find anything related to a certain project or department very easily. Let's select the time. We'll do it on the 22nd. Uh, 9.30, and here I can add uh, location information, dial-in information, web conferencing information, or any other logistical notes as required. Let's continue to the topics area. Uh, topic number one, this is how I add my topics. I can optionally give it a presenter and give it a time. Topic number two, just save that without a presenter. And topic number three will be done by James. He gets five minutes. And this is my agenda. Now if I want to change the sequence, I simply click and hold the move link and I drag it to a different location. Now I can also share documents, um, include notes, and even assign tasks in the agenda. So let's attach a document. Here are the August sales numbers. Attach a file. And we'll save that as a note. Now, for the second topic, I would like to give uh, a task to Wilma. So, prepare list of candidates for UK. Uh, you noticed I clicked the tab key three times. You don't have to leave the keyboard to quickly m assign tasks. So, give that to Wilma, and it should be done by tomorrow. So now I'm done with the agenda. I can click the email agenda button and all participants will receive the, an email with the agenda and the body and a PDF attached that looks like this. Um, so if you don't bring your iPad or laptop to the meeting room to make notes, you can do that on this piece of paper that you print out uh, where there is room to make notes and you can later add your notes to Meeting King. So these are the basics of uh, creating an agenda. But Meeting King does much more because it's all actionable information. Let's assume you have a follow-up meeting. I created a meeting, first sample meeting, with here are my notes from the discussion and a few tasks that we created in this previous meeting. I schedule a follow-up meeting and what it does, it copies all the logistical information over into the new meeting. I can rename the meeting title. It's not absolutely necessary because Meeting King automatically appends the, the date to it, but in this particular case, it makes sense. And I select a new time, a date and time for the meeting. And we'll continue to the topics area. Now in the topics area, you see that the tasks from the previous meeting are already automatically added to the agenda. Um, this is all interactive information, so if you meet with the group and James says, no, I've done this task, you mark the task as complete and everywhere else it's obviously also marked as complete. It will be updated in his dashboard, in your dashboard, um, and in the minutes of the previous meeting. Here is also a link to the previous meeting. You can simply collapse this um, if you're done with that area. And you can add new topics to 
the agenda. Now, assume that in your previous meeting you had a topic that uh, fell outside the scope of the meeting or you didn't have time to discuss anymore, and you moved it to the parking lot. What you can now do is move it back into your agenda by simply dragging it out of your parking lot and moving it onto the agenda. So this is what Meeting King has to offer for your agenda. Remember, this is an interactive document, so even though other participants are not required to have a Meeting King account, because they will receive the emails, it is very useful if they do, because then they can provide feedback, uh, attach documents, add their own topics, etc. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you for your attention.